Right, hello everybody. Welcome to replay analysis of the Rebel Grand Final um, slash Three Super Bowl. Words. Shut up, con. Thanks for that, uh, old meme. Right, so, <laughs> yeah, this is the final. Um, it's Archangel 7 with Archangel's Will, Wood Elves, versus High Lord Salt with Nurgle's FTD's Nurgle. Um, let's pause it after this block and look at the teams. So, Archangel 7 went with a wizard and a babe. And uh, Nurgle, uh, well, High Lord Salt won the toss, chose to kick. And he's gone for this um, Jock McRowdy defence here ish. The two little U's there. Um, Archangel's Will, it's it's a weird team. It's it's really not that good, I don't think. I don't think it's that good of a team. Um, he's got a journeyman there. He's got a rookie, a rookie dancer, and a strength four dancer. He's got a Rackle player with dodge, a Blodge Lino, a, he's got a movement 7 Blodge Step Guard catcher, and a movement 8 Blodge Step Guard catcher. So he's got two nice catchers. And then he's got the star of the show, his Edge 5 Blodge Leap. Um, nerves of Steel and Pass Block. And actually, the Nerves of Steel, is, it makes him a great retriever, doesn't it? I think probably rather than Pass Block, he'd be, you know, I think he'd be a lot better with um, sure Hands instead of uh, Pass Block. But with the nerves of steel, it is it is a bit of a combo, isn't it? And the leap and everything, so it's not it's not terrible. Um, but yeah, he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't really have a lot to the team. Um, meanwhile, Nurgle's FTDs they're, they're, they're terrifying for bash teams, not so much for elf teams. Yes, they've got disturbing presence, but disturbing presence isn't that big a deal um, against elves. And he's only got one killer with tackle. He's only got one killer anyway. I and mean, he's got tackle juggernaut, which is pretty good. But doesn't have to jump up. So if he piles on, he won't be able to blitz. You know, it limits his movement a lot if he if he piles on. So yeah, interesting. Yes, that is the catch that won. It won him the semi final by passing in tackle zones. Yeah, the catch is great. The 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 nerves of Steve is great for for recovering. Like he's a great recoverer. Um, of wizards and everything, so that's why I think if he had shoe hands rather than pass block, um, that would complement his role as a as a recoverer, wouldn't it? But yeah, nerves of steel not so good at, for catching, but very good for passing when he when he you know in tackle zone. So yeah, he, the the wizard against Archangel, you know, is absolutely terrifying and a failed pickup or you know anything like that. Um, he could actually blitz the tree here, couldn't he? He's got um, he's got the assist for it, and he's got Juggernaut. And instead, he just does not blitz anybody with his uh, Pommer, um, which I don't like. Also, he commits the the beast miles away um, uh, from the ball, and without any support. So he just basically makes takes he takes the catcher out of the game, but it's not a really very good catcher, is it? And he can always try for the dodges anyway. If he makes the dodges, then um, then the beast stranded, so I really, I really didn't like this at all. Um, so there you go. <laughs> um, and I think, I think, you know, you can't really stop Wood Elves from scoring, especially not when they've got an agility five. Um, yeah, double basing and then two do. I didn't really, I really didn't like that turn at all. Um, you know, I think. It's re it's so hard to stop a Wood Elf team scoring like this. He's only got eleven players, so just try to outbash him. You know, get the pile in, get the pylons, and try to just kill his team this half. I think was the play, and obviously keep the keep the beast central so that it can go somewhere um, and do something. So there's a double one, which is interesting, isn't it? Um, the ball. Can't really be reached, can it? One, two. Oh, he could pow him, and then one, two, three, four, double GFI. So he could do. Um, this guy can also do. Can he? One, two, three, four, five, six GFI. Yeah, he can come through this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he, he couldn't hit the ball. Um, also, he could blitz the catcher and then stick the beast on his edge five. He's, so he's got a few options. Yeah, I think I think the problem that High Lord Salt had in this game was he played it, um, and you can see from the first two games he's playing it very 
passively, isn't he? And trying to, uh, you know, here he had a blitz on the tree again. Doesn't he? But he doesn't go for the ball, and he just, you know, keeps the stuff in front of him. Doesn't pile, and I don't know. It's just like I want to say not good, but um, <laughs> it's not. Good. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good. I don't think he's playing it right. I don't think he's playing it right. I think he should be about all about the murder kill. And he's not he's not really murdering here, is he? He's trying to prevent a score or something. And I don't think that's the play against Wood Elves. Not in this particular Wood Elf team, it's an eleven man Wood Elf team that's terrifying on defence. They're not that terrifying on offence, so you have got a decent chance to stop them scoring, to be fair. There is a decent chance to stop them scoring. Um, so I don't hate the player, but even then I think it was too passive anyway. Um, I think he should be going after the wrestle guy as much as possible, seeing as he's got block, um, block tackle palm. He has to be targeting him. He's the only player that can get the ball off him reliably. Um... So, I think there is that. And there's a one. No, a double one. Yeah, and I think I think particularly this team, because it's it's eleven man and it's so good on defense. You know, I think he should have been chasing I would have used this half to chase the Edge Five guy and chase the Rackler. And I think if you can get rid of those two. And the strength four dancer. You know, if you can get rid of one of those three, you're looking pretty good. And if you just get rid of any three or four other players, if you get rid of four or five, maybe it's five of anybody, then he's going to really struggle anyway on defense, isn't he? So, but he's not. He's kind of trying to play sensibly, if you like, to kind of prove that he's not a brainless bash coach and he's going to, you know, make tactical decisions and stuff. And I just think that wasn't wasn't the way I think the way to do it was to you know try and murder again not hitting with tackle palm and uh, I think the way with you know he's just not he's not maximizing his tools that he's you know his killing tools that he's got doesn't follow there ah but it's because he GFIs to base the ball which is fair enough isn't it there's a 1 36 chance of that failing but um <laughs> I'm not bullying bash coaches with my help to pace, pace, pace. <laughs> Only ones that do it without thinking. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, it's stand firm. So all the stand firm is quite good against elves because it means they can't just put block you for pushes. They, they are, are reduced to having to dodge. And obviously there is a 1 in 36 chance every time they do. So, and there is one. Huge, huge dodge fail. And... Uh, that lets him get the ball in a cage, pretty much, doesn't it? Um, a bit of a cage, he can get it in. Uh, no, it, was, it wasn't against Norse, because it was an Armour 8 team, wasn't it? It was hooked up, base, 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 this one, fail, I'm Armour 8. So it couldn't have been Norse. Oh, unless it was like a... Unless it was a... An Ulf Werner, maybe. It could have been Norse. Nice removal there, the one guy without mighty blow. <laughs> Gets the first removal. Oh no, second removal. So he gets the ball back. But he has got to worry about this tackler, hasn't he? Um, Blitz is over here. Yeah, it wasn't really a bash team, no, true. True. Uh, maybe he could have protected the ball a bit better here. Maybe he should have tried to hit this guy. This is a pretty easy, pretty easy uh, 2D on the ball, isn't it? He, do, he dodges out him, gets him back in, comes round with a wrestle. Gets away from the beast. I don't know if he was trying to do that every turn. I think he probably should have been. His last action, but he did turn over. He has made a couple of 1 in 36s, hasn't he, already? And gets the 2D, gets the power. The ball's loose. It's stupid that this Arch 5 can get the ball next turn <laughs> from where he is, isn't it, pretty much? And there's another double one. This is his third Snake Eyes of the game on turn 5. 
<laughs> but he's, ma he's making a lot of dodges, to be fair, but I think he's still getting unlucky, for sure. I don't, really don't know what team it was, honestly. So again, you know, he should, he's obviously got, he can get the ball again this turn. High Lord Salt. I think I would, uh, I think I would get the ball, then try and fish for a pow with this Mighty Blow character so that you can, uh, you know, got the best chance you've got of getting this, uh, Roger, well, the Rackle, Rackle Rog. Really want to get him down, don't you? Instead, he goes for the, goes for the Blitz first. Fishes for the power, re-rolls it, doesn't take the both down, which he could have done. Oh no, sorry, he did it with a he did it with a pommel. So I thought I did think he was going with this guy first. Um, I would have gone with that guy first. That's why I re-rolled it. So he, he did three dice with him, re-rolled it to get the power, then piled on. There was a case of him not getting the pile on there, of not piling on, but he really wanted rid of the guard, didn't he? So you can understand him piling on. However, piling on just gives him the assist round the back anyway, so. Um, in terms of defending the ball, it didn't really matter whether he piled on or not. And obviously, if he piles on, he could kill the catcher, which is pretty good. Um, the beast, yeah, the beast just went over here early, and then he did a four plus activation to get him back there. So now he goes for the foul, which is, uh, you know, he really doesn't want the catcher there, does he, with guard? And he rolls a double one, absolute gym foul. Doesn't even get this, doesn't even get the stun. Gets sent off, and now because he's piled on. He's got this sideline open to get the ball, and he's got the edge five is is there to get it. So this is looking pretty horrible um, for High Lord Salt at the game. And yeah, the edge five. This is uh, this is a quite a nice uh, move, I think, from uh, from. Archangel here. He does the pass with accurate and uh, he makes a few rolls here. He's got no reroll and he makes a dodge and two GFI, so it was risky. <laughs> but it certainly paid off because now, you know, I, the way I would have done it um, would have been with the journeyman basing the guy and uh, having another ball over here with him screening. But this way was obviously riskier, but with the reward of you've got the ball on the edge five, you know, the same you don't you're not protecting two. You're not you don't have to protect the ball and your edge five. He just puts everything on the uh, on the edge five. So I I like having the um I would have carried it on the edge five from the start of the drive, to be honest. But I like having the ball on the edge five, so you, there's not two players. Yeah, he stole, didn't he, a wizard, and uh, and it looks like he's not even going to stop the score now because this this is a relatively easy stall. He does not again like um. Oh yeah, I guess I guess you could have done that at last action. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess you could have done. Yeah. Um. He has got mighty blow though, so probably not. <laughs> Um, I would have, I would have already killed the tree. Though. I would have two D'd him with the, uh, with the block of naught. <laughs> um, I would, have, I would have pawned the tree long ago. <laughs> so yeah, much like Aurelensis, he doesn't risk the score. He thinks you know two turns um, is is fine. And plus, if he didn't score, he's already rolled like three double ones, right? So if he doesn't score, he only gets one chance to get the KOs back. This way, he gets two chances at the KOs for sure, and he scores, and you know. High Lord Salt is unlikely to score in two turns, so I think that's that's fair. Nurgle aren't the aren't the most ball uh, ball playing team, are they? That's not vicious at all. No, that's what you did. It's exactly the same as the NAF final. You know, it's like you can stall, but stalling isn't without risk, is it? So he didn't stall, which is fine. It's I was, I was being I was being nice to both you and Archangel. Because that's it, you can't say anything's right or wrong, can you? 
I hated this setup though. <laughs> I hate this setup from uh, High Lord Salt, as he has only two beastmen forward, one of which wants to pile on. So he's effectively not even trying to score by having this guy back as well. That was outrageous, outrageous to not have this wrestle guy forward. You've got to get your three beastmen forward to try and score, haven't you? That was awful um, to, to have two beastmen back. You could even have the edge five one forward because he's edge five for dodging. So you could have had him forward and then hope to pass to him because you got two rerolls. So you could have even had uh, him forward, which would have made his score a lot more likely. But basically, almost, almost didn't try to score there. I mean, High Lord Salt is having pretty crap dice. To be fair, he hasn't really killed anything. I hated this position though of this Nurgle Warrior. He could have been here. The Nurgle Warrior, no need to be there. He could be here and make this a three dice. I don't know how you don't make this a three dice, and um, when you've just got this guy standing here, and you know he used a reroll on it as well, so. That I hated, personally. Doesn't pile on again, but isn't scoring threat. So he's got one scoring threat, and it's just, you can't have ones. You can't expect to score with one scoring threat, can you, against Woody's? I mean, come on. Come on, man! Can absolutely cannot expect to score this drive. So, you know, despite playing most of the half, well, he played all of his defensive drive pretty cagey, trying to stop them. And then he just bases the lonely with a with a beast rather than the uh, thrower or the... Uh, you know, he could have blitzed the thrower, couldn't he? And then based this guy and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I thought this was a a terrible, terrible two-turn attempt. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> Wrestle puts him out of range to score as well. So he's definitely not going to score. Obviously, the tree won't stand up because he'll get clawed. And just dodge, dodge with these guys away and try and not die. For another turn. So yeah, but successful 1-0 half for Archangel. And now KO is gonna be pretty crucial. And also, High Lord Salt will have to try and defend basic. I mean, you know, it's it's so hard to score against this team against a wizard. Um with the edge five, it's really is terrifying. It makes the loner roll but fails double ones again. So this is the fourth fourth double one dodge. And that, that one didn't really matter, but it's crazy to just roll four double one dodges already. Um, in a half, that is outrageous. I'm pretty sure he hasn't made 216 dodges. <laughs> or however many it is. Hundred and forty four. I'm pretty sure he hasn't made that many. So he's been he's been unlucky on his dodges for sure. I didn't like him blitzing this guy. Because he's pretty irrelevant, but because he could have he could have three D this catcher, but doing that lets him foul the Rackle, which is obviously a great defensive player. So I I actually quite liked it at first. I didn't like it because I was like, why isn't he blitzing the catcher? But actually, pretty good move gets the foul on the uh, on the Rackle, which is you know outside of the wizard and the strength four dancer, this is his best shot at ball sacks, isn't it? Gets the KO as well, thanks to dirty player. All three KOs come back. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 11 players. Hasn't removed anybody. Um, <laughs> you know, that's, that's crazy, isn't it? That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. So this is looking really horrible for High Lord Salt. He has not done any damage. He's got this an entirely healthy Wood Elf team. Absolute nightmare. With a wizard. With the edge five. With a strength four dancer. Um... It's looking bad for him. Looking very bad. But if you can make some removals, you just go re You know, this is the thing. Right? At the start of the game, I thought High Lord Salt has basically got to play pretty much perfectly and not get unlucky. Um, Archangel can play pretty poorly, and uh, as long as he doesn't get unlucky, <laughs> it, well, not not that he can play it poorly, but it, it doesn't matter how how well. He's not under pressure. Archangel isn't under pressure to play well. Positioned perfectly, whereas High Lord Salt has to position well on offense. On defense, it's fair enough, because I think defensively, he, he should have just tried to cas him on defense. So, I don't really agree with the route 
No, I mean, I really don't agree with how High Lord Sol played the defense, but offensively, High Lord Sol has to have almost perfect positioning, otherwise, he will get punished by uh, Archangel. Ah, so he wasn't in range to pick up with the uh, with the good one. The old everyone on the tree routine. And he doesn't stand firm, so he doesn't take another 2D, which is a good good choice. As he would have been knocked over. <laughs> Oh yeah, he just blocked without without. But I mean, that's fair enough though, because he wanted multiple hit, multiple shots at the tree. So I think that's absolutely fine. Greeding the hit there, but not making it three D. I just think you know, if you're going to greed the hit, make it three D first. You know, um, and then like it, it, lots of times he hasn't three D'd when um, I think he probably should have done. Um, and again, he's obsessed by this uh, this blood step catcher. Get get this tree on him and uh, the beast. I would probably I would have wanted the beast near the ball um, at all times. I would I would want the beast, you know, near where the ball is just to make it out. Because if the beast is near the ball, he hasn't really got the, uh, you know, it limits his ability to get in with his edge five and recover, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, Tasman, we did watch this, but this is for the YouTubes. Um, you know, the replay analysis for the YouTubes, that's what this is. Um, so there you go. So he goes for the edge five, commits the edge five, leaps in, dodges through, picks it up, does not have sure hands, because he doesn't. And then goes for the punt. I'm not sure about this play, but he, uh, he double ones. He, well, he doesn't do a one. Um, there's an, one on the intercept, then a one on the pass. Um, I don't even know if it's worth dodging. It might, it might have been worth dodging just to uh, just to smash this guy to pieces. I hated blitzing him without mighty blow here because he could have um, he could have got an assist on the tree, two um, D the tree, and then and then blitzed with one of these warriors, which would obviously would have got mighty blow on him. I thought that was very much. Very much worth getting Mighty Blow on him. To be honest. Also, I don't know where this dirty player came from, but I would have also wanted to move the dirty player towards <laughs> towards the edge five for next turn. And he's on some crap rolls against the tree here, isn't he? The tree stands firm into a straight two D, and it's another greed. That's two greed re rolls from High Lord Salt so far. I mean, greeting the tree is is more understandable than the two D one. I thought the two D one on turn nine was pretty pretty bad. It's more understandable to greet against the tree. He stands back up, and now it's gonna be hard to two D again. And he gets the guard there. Cheeky dodge away from tense. Which is going to give him 2D. Oh no, he could, he could have made an extra roll to make it 2D on the ball, couldn't he? Um, he could have made an extra... Well, maybe he could have made an extra GFI. No, it was already a GFI at the 1D. Hmm, fair enough. Yeah. So I think you just dodge away from the ball here, don't you? And hit the string four dance. It would be a very nice move. But we shall see. Does not get the knockdown. I mean, High Lord Salt's dice have been pretty crap, I think. He hasn't hurt anybody. He hasn't maximised his chances of hurting people. But he also hasn't hurt anybody. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty crap, isn't it? Oh, a bad, a bad born head. Yeah. 
he's got to, you know again this is this is going to be a 2d on the ball easy 2d on the ball isn't it um well is it an easy 2d Let, let's pause it and see how easy the 2d would have been a three plus through tackle um and then one two three four five six seven eight so it was it was pretty probably going to, would commit a reroll to it also could have fight i didn't i do you know what i quite like the fireball here and um, also could have gone three with tackle one two three four five six seven gf five so he could have run around he could have gone for a leap there's a few ways he could have um oh he's got this guy only one two three four five six seven eight gf five so there's a few ways he could have gone around to try and get 2d on the ball here also i, I really didn't mind a fireball here um i think you know because if any one of these goes down any of these two go down he's just got a, straight away he's got an instant assist well okay not him actually with he goes down he hasn't got an instant well no he's two d's him and he's got an instant assist so he's got an instant assist if either of these two go down obviously the ball goes down the ball's down um and then he's got a potential touchdown so i, I really like the uh the wizard here fireball i i think i would have wanted to fireball here i don't know how long he thought about fireballing there um, or using lightning bolt. Obviously, it's good keeping your pocket as well. The threat of the fireball is fantastic, or the or the bolt. Um, as it is, he just goes for a one D, and re rolls the one D. So I think if you're gonna willing to spend a re roll on the action, I would have, I would have rather made it two dice to be honest. Um, but you know, certainly not criticizing him for it. Yes, I can absolutely not you understand using the, not using the wizard. Of course, you know I. I am notorious for not using a wizard and waiting for the perfect time for it. Um, but just me personally there, again, you know, you can't say anything's right or wrong because it's all down to personal preference and stuff. Um, I, he, he doesn't wrestle there. I would, I would have wrestled. Um, I can't believe he wrestled there because he had a hit with his killer. And uh, he let him dodge away by not wrestling there. Plus he's armor seven. Um, but there you go, he didn't wrestle. <laughs> no, no, in ruins, no, no, you know, like there are some things that are wrong and everything, but very little that's definitely absolutely wrong. And uh, he does go, just go for the, the strength five hit, the edge five hit, which probably the wrong thing, isn't it? You probably should have gone for the tackle here and uh, tried to solidify the ball. Um, but it's natural to go for this hit with the pylon. It's absolutely natural to go for that because he's pretty terrified of this out five player. Um, and again, so it's twice he's hit him and twice he's piled on and done nothing. <laughs> Hello, FT just. Yeah, so now it's horrible, isn't it? You can move over here and make a bit of a cage. Um, but I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think he just stands in the wrong place. I could have GFI, so it would have been a GFI, but I think he has to make the GFI. If he makes the GFI here, he's got guard on like every, well, if we pause it. If he, if he GFIs to here, he can only be hit from these three, these four squares where the guard is, or these two squares where this guard is. So I think you have to make the GFI, or just not move, only move to here with the, uh, with the guard, but then you can be hit from here still by the strength four dancer. But I think you've got to make the GFI there. I think this is just awful, isn't it? You've got the assist as well. So he's got the assist if he wants to dodge through with a rackler, which he could have done. Like he could have just dodged through with a rackler, um, but he's got a straight, just a straight two D on the ball. Um, I don't think giving your opponent a straight two D on the ball is a uh, is a good good way to win. <laughs> uh, but there you go. Yeah, he gets the two D. And again, you know, like a, a fireball there might have been a, a thing. Yeah, I'm sure Archangel was thinking every turn about whether he should use a wizard, or he certainly should have been, um, because it's such a huge decision. Of course, it's worth thinking about, even if he wasn't going to do it. I like going for the. Uh, Dancer first, and then if he fails, go for the liner, which is exactly what he did. And he goes for the four plus handoff. I think maybe he's hanging on to it would have been uh, would have maybe been better there. But he goes for the handoff, and then a crazy string of results. 
and and what a god scatter that ends up being like from the from the dancer you know it could have just got come out here somewhere and it, an amazing like, scatter into his tackle zone three three elf tackle zones um i thought here the play was to blitz with the pestigore here to push the dancer on the ball get a scatter and activate your beast um that seems like a good well, like block of the beast as well and stuff um or he could have just cleared two tackle zones. He could have, uh, he could have blitzed the dancer up and then blocked him down. But instead, he just blitzes the strength four guy. And another double skulls there. Now there's only one reroll for High Lord Skull. And I do kind of feel like he wasted a reroll with the uh, with a turn nine greed roll. It looks like he's not even going to try for the pickup this turn. Just leaving the ball on the ground against Woody's. A bit dangerous, isn't it? All the one. It's another double one. <laughs> this is like five double ones, I think. For the, yeah, f the fifth double one that the Woody's have rolled. Um, cost him a re-roll as well. So now, it's paid off for this uh, This not really trying to clear the ball at all. It's paid off. Uh, yeah, there's the blitz there. So now he's got three dice from the uh, beast. I didn't like moving this further. I think he should have hit 3D first because if he pushed him, he could hit again. I like I like taking with the beast first, and then if you push him 2D and with block, he doesn't even he doesn't even clear the. I, I like clearing that. I really like making that 3DB, and now he finally bolts, um, and. He got a god scatter, to be fair, he got a god scatter from that bolt. That was an in incredibly lucky scatter. Uh, maybe he's again, maybe he could have gone for a fireball. No, I guess he had a bolt. And he does have his edge five here, only in a, in a in one disturbing presence. And there's a steel, making it a two plus catch. Yes, Rulud, I hated that as well, yeah. So he dodges all around. Use a reroll on the pickup. And stays out of disturbing presence range with a long bomb. Gets it, four plus, not even difficult. And makes the catch. And there's his sixth double one dodge. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, however, he's that far away that it's still almost certainly win for him. Only one reroll left. For High Lord Salt, and he has to get. The first thing he does is move this press to go, so he's gonna have to try and what blitz this guy away somehow, and uh, and then go for, for the pick fuck's up sake, to him Tony! Or something. Stop being shit! <laughs> he doesn't need blitzes with him. I think he should have definitely blitzed. Blitz the catcher, if not the pommer. I think the pommer should have done because he's got because he's got the pass. Well, mate, I don't take no fucking voids. What do you know about voids? The fuck, mate? You take voids? You seem to know a lot about them, mate. Fuck off. Because he's got to pass. Um, oh yeah, sorry. Archangel not only had a uh, he had a two apples, not just the babes. He had two apples. So he uses one of his apples there. It was first apple used on turn fifteen. That's ridiculous, isn't it? So yeah, I think he had to blitz him with because uh, he's you know he's gonna have to pass to score, and there's a there's a pass block player who's had five with nerves of steel, so I think he'd been better off making the pass this turn to this rotter, and then running and handing off to the uh, Pestigo. Um But as it is, he did he did what he did. <laughs>
And this fucking wrestlers are there. The wrestler's always been in the perfect spot the entire game. That's going to be another one day on the ball, easy. And 2D if he wants to not score from it, which is obviously fine, because he's already 1-0 up. He doesn't need the second touchdown. But yeah, 2D on the ball. Easy as you like, wrestles him down. And now that's almost certainly GG, isn't it? Almost certain. Oh, this part, I didn't think it mattered really, did it? That part. But uh, now, now it's just over, isn't it? He's got a, he's got a blitz. Blitz. Probably has to. He probably had to blitz there. Um, and push him to there, three, four, five, six, GFI or something, lob it to him, pass it, two tackle zones, dodge, and then it's horrible. Oh, the pest, he was in scoring range. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, he was, yeah. Yeah, it was a bit lucky, yeah. Yeah, it was a bit lucky. And then he cazzes the catcher on turn 16. Gives him minus AV, but the uh, the apple works unbelievably. So you know, if he'd done these, if he'd done this cars earlier, these cars earlier, and the apples had failed, maybe it could have gone differently. He needed a bit of luck though, didn't he? I think Harlow saw it and didn't get a lot of luck. And uh, yeah, that was. I think I think you know I think the better coach won. To be fair, I don't think I think Kylo Sol probably had the wrong the wrong strategy for this game. I think defensively, and I think his his positioning wasn't uh, top notch on offense. Uh, but you know I think it had to be perfect. You know I think it had to be pretty much approximately perfect on offense for him to not turn over and lose. And you know it may be harsh to say that I think Hippie was the same. You know I think it been they had to on offense. Funnily enough. Um, the way High Lord Salt played his defense of not piling on ever and rarely blitzing with a pommer is more how I think he should have played his offense. Um, you know, not thinking about attrition at all on offense and offense hundred percent about the ball. Um, whereas defense, I think he maybe should have forgotten about the ball. Um, but you know, he did do incredibly well to get there. Um, you know, he got the final. They both got the final. Fair play to them both. Congratulations. <laughs> Oh, Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs> Thank you very much, and Ruins. Yeah, there you go. And uh, yeah, great season for both, both from Rel 3, and now they'll both be in Rel 1. So congrats to them both, um, and particularly Archangel 7 for winning Rebel. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>